Hi, hello friends, hello good people. So today let's talk about the movie Can You See Us? Have you watched the movie Can You See Us? Or do you know there is a movie called Can You See Us? So I'm going to answer a few questions that people have been asking me about this film. But before we do that, in case you don't know what we are talking about, so there is a movie right now which is out and the title is Can You See Us? This movie is on Netflix, so you can go on Netflix, subscribe and uh, watch that movie, okay? It's a feature film, so watch that movie. Now this movie guys is a Zambian movie produced in Zambia by Zambians and it's just getting the flag higher because I mean how many Zambian films do we have on Netflix? So this film has achieved that milestone and it has put Zambia on the map. So Zambia Kucharo guys let's all be proud of this project because it is a Zambian thing. Okay, so shout out to Lawrence Thompson, the executive producer, Kenny Mumba, the director, and Yasmin Dodia, the producer, and also the actors and actresses. It was a powerful team. So I won't talk much about this film, but when you finish watching this video, go on Netflix and watch it yourself. You won't regret it. Okay, so it's a very powerful story. Now, I just want to answer a few questions that people have been asking about this project. So let's start with the first question. Um, is this movie about you? Are we seeing a, a story of John Chitty? So the answer is yes, guys. Yes, this movie is actually inspired by my life. It is actually telling my story, okay? So what you are seeing in this movie is what I went through, uh, how John Chitty grew up, what happened to him, how did he manage to become a musician, which, which school did he go to, so all those things, that is what you are seeing. So basically, guys, the movie has been produced to tell my story, okay? So if you know my story already, because, I mean, I've been telling my story uh, for some time on the media, so if you know, or maybe you have an idea of my story, yes, that is what you expect to see in the movie. But if you don't know what I went through, you don't know my journey, well, just go and watch that movie and you understand where John Chit is coming from, okay? So, yes, the movie is inspired by my life. Now, the other question is, how did this start? Where is this coming from? Well, guys, um, I met Mr. Lawrence Thompson, who is a filmmaker, and uh, we were working on something. So we, when we met for the first time, we were working on a certain project. Mm -hmm. And um, we were traveling. Yeah, it was a long journey. We were traveling from Lusaka to Chama. So, I mean, it was a long journey. So when, during that trip, we were, just, we were just talking in a vehicle, you know. Um, he was asking me questions about my life. Where was I born? How did I grow up? How did I become a musician? So I was just explaining to him, just like I do, you know, explaining to him about my life. <laughs> so he said, John, your story is very inspiring. We need to make a movie. I said, yeah, yeah, let's do it. So I didn't thought he was serious. Then after some weeks, he calls me like, hey, John, I've written the script. <laughs> Serious cash, yeah. So I, I, we started now looking at the script, and I was advising him here and there. Okay, this is clarifying certain things. We worked on the script for some time until we 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 were, we were satisfied with the script. We said this is a good movie, this is a good story. Uh, now let's look for sponsors. So we started looking for sponsors because we didn't want to do a low budget movie so that we compromise a number of things. We said, this has to be a powerful movie. We don't want to compromise on the quality, on the actors, on the whatever. So we started looking for sponsors and it took time, guys. It took time. Uh, there were some rejections here and there. There were some hiccups here and there. But finally, after some months, finally, we managed to find a sponsor who managed to put in uh, money in the project okay and then the rest is history guys now producers came in directors actors whatever and now we have the movie it's there on netflix so you can just go there and watch it okay the other question is uh, what we are seeing in the movie is it exactly what happened to you or maybe so people have been asking that question again the answer is yes guys 90%, 90% of what you are seeing in the movie is actually what happened to me and the things I went through. So, yes, 
there is a small percentage, maybe uh, just a 10% of uh, things that were just put to spice up. You know, this is film. You have to make the viewers and, you know, the, so there are some things that, um, that were just put to spice up. But 90%, most of the things there are real things that happened to my life. Um, for example, my mother and my stepfather are late. They, are, they all died. And in the movie, uh, we talked about them dying in a road accident, but in real life they did not die in a road accident. They they just died separately. But so the fact is they died. Okay, they are not there. But of course in the movie there are, there are ways of how you try to you know uh, play around with stories and try to make them uh, you know appealing to the viewers. So there are just a few things, just to, small small spices that were put in the movie. But ninety percent of uh, the story actually, guys is what happened in real life. Now, the other question I, I hear people ask is, so what was my role on the project? So my role is that I'm not the one who acted, guys. So I have people who are acting. So there is a, a person who acted, the young John, who was acting me when I was young. Uh, shout out to Tavo. Um, uh, she's the person who was acting me. Then uh, we have also another guy called George. He's the main character. He's the one who was acting me now yeah john city yes yeah so i did not act myself but of course it's my story so my role was i was the the, the technical advisor uh before that i'm the story so the story is inspired by me so i was there throughout to guide the team on what is true what is not true and things like that but but i was also the technical advisor for the project because we didn't just want to tell the John Chitty story. We wanted to tell the albinism story because uh, what I've gone through is what most people with albinism go through. And me being the, 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 active, the executive director then for the Albinism Foundation of Zambia um, and dealing with albinism for some years, I was there to give them the technical knowledge on albinism. What things should we say? What things should we not say? And, and at some point, guys, when the film was done, we said the first people who are supposed to watch this film are people with albinism themselves because this film it's going to represent them so we had a screening where we called a number of people with albinism to come and watch the film they watched it and they gave their opinion they gave their feedback where they felt it has to change where they so it consultation was done and i was coordinating all that so uh, i'm fully 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 involved in the, the the project even if i did not act but i was fully involved okay yeah so that is uh some of the questions people ask yeah so the, the last two questions uh people are asking me first of all let's talk about tabo um the the, the, the young john chitty in the movie is actually a girl <laughs> I know people people may not know maybe you may be surprised with the name and things like that so yes yes that that young boy whom you are seeing as a boy is actually a girl now what happened what happened how did we put a girl to act well it is it, it's, it's something like this guys so what happened was we were looking for two people a young me someone was going to act me when I was young and someone was going to act me when I'm older and we started holding auditions actually the challenge we had guys we couldn't find a boy who was that confident to act. It, it was just a challenge. I mean, all the, the, the young boys we had, we auditioned a number of them, we were not satisfied. And most of them, they had, or they have low self-esteem. Okay? They have low self-esteem. And it was very difficult for us to find a young boy who, can just, who is just positive and act. So it became a challenge to us when we were doing um, auditions. Uh, sadly, uh, most people with albinism have got low self-esteem. And it starts from when they are young. You know, Baba Nyoza Nyoza, calling them names, whatever. All those things, they, they affect their confidence. So when we were looking for a young boy, we couldn't find any young boy. The young boys we had, well, we, we felt uh, we didn't have confidence that they could you know, really do their work. So then... We came across Tabo, said, there is a young girl, she's very good, but she's a girl. I mean, as we are looking for a boy, <laughs> I mean, if we said John, if we put a girl, no, the story would change because John is a boy. So 
He said, what are we going to do? So we are looking for a, a young boy to act, but there is a young girl who is very good, very confident. She had all what we wanted. So we were stuck. And, 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 and uh, we said, okay, okay, maybe since she's young and maybe we can try to work on her so that she looks like a boy. And okay, yeah, let's try. Let's see. <laughs> so, you know, there are people who are good at that. They worked on her and they said, you know what? Here we have a boy. <laughs> yeah, so she acted. I mean, I mean, you can't tell that she's a boy. That girl can act. I mean, shout out to Tabo. Shout out to the mother to Tabo because the problem we had was finding a young boy who is confident. And let me tell this message to parents. Parents, you have a child with albinism. Please don't destroy their confidence. What you tell them, how you raise them, affect their confidence. That is why we had the challenge to find a young boy. So that is why we chose uh, Tavo. And after they worked on her, the makeup team and everything, we said, okay, she's going to do so. In the movie, she acted as a boy, but actually she's a girl. And she did a very good job. You can't even tell. Okay? So we want more boys. Now, that is just to clarify what happened. Otherwise, you'll be seeing more of Tavo and others. Um, the last question is, uh, what, what benefit is this movie going to have for the albinism community? So what is there for them? I mean, what opportunities, okay? So before we even go to people with albinism, first of all, let's celebrate it as a nation, as a Zambian film, because this movie has raised the Zambian flag higher. Like I said, guys, how many movies, Zambian movies, do we have on Netflix? Very few, okay? So we have to be proud as a nation that this movie has gone that far. So Zambia, Kuchal, and we're being represented there. Now let's, let's zero in to people with albinism. Guys, now we have more stars. I'm happy because now I'm not the only one in the limelight here. So I'm happy to see other other a celebrity is now. Tavo is now a celebrity because of that movie. George is a celebrity. So I'm happy that other people with albinism are joining me in the limelight. I mean, I don't want to be the only uh, uh, celebrity, the only person in the limelight. I know there are so many people with albinism who are talented. So I am happy. So this movie has just opened doors for these actors. I mean, just if you see, see how far these guys will go. Tavo, George, and others so that is a good thing because we have more heroes now uh, people with albinism and of course this movie has opened doors to everyone other people uh, now people will be winning awards people will be having more business people now will be having there's so many so many opportunities now that are coming and also shout out to the albinism foundation of zambia as an organization that was also part and supported this project so that is it so guys i won't talk much because what we're talking about is a movie and it's there so i just want you to go and see that movie go and watch and when you watch that movie come back i want to hear your thoughts your feedback what is your feeling after watching the movie how do you feel and then let's talk more about these issues okay so thank you very much and see you when you watch can you see us